Okay. I mentioned Bill Baruch buying a stock that's up 60% this week alone. It is Arm Holdings. And he joins us now to explain why. Uh, 60% up, you buy it now? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's about 10% off the high, so, so I'll take that part of it. Um, you know, but before I dive in, why, again, here's the thing, is I'm looking at, at Arm, and it's all about portfolio positioning. Amazon's our number one holding. I, I talked about Tesla yesterday. If you couple Arm and Tesla together, they're about a third of our portfolio, a third of the size of Amazon. But I want to own these names because I think that they, they can four or five X from here over the next three years. Look at the EPS that just came out here. They raised guidance on this report on the lower end of full year guidance of EPS by 20 percent. Not only that, we're going to start to see better royalties as as their uh, as their clients switch off the V8 architecture and move into the V9 architecture with better computing. They cover 99 percent of the smartphone CPU computing market right here. And I, I just see this this foothold getting bigger and bigger. I want to have a piece in this game right now. And uh, I see myself adding if it does go lower. So a couple things. So you're you're telling me that none of that what you just said is already in the stock. Number one. Number two, if the market is ripe for some kind of consolidation, wouldn't this be at the top of the list or certainly near it for stocks that can have a larger drawdown than others because of the unbelievably rapid rise? Well, number one, I mean, here here's the thing is is overall this positioning in this in this market um, not being priced in right now because I think that this name is now on the list of other managers, other funds that are looking to gain this exposure. Remember, they went public when September, October of last year. From there, you know, these names are not getting bought right away. The lockup period for those who own it are, are, is extensive, but these names are not getting bought right away. We got through one quarter of, of earnings reports, and then we're getting, this is the main quarter right here. This is what puts it on funds' radars. This is what puts it on managers' radars. So I, I think now they're waking up to it. The, the, the big banks that are managing large amounts of money, they're waking up to that name now. That's why I want to piece into it. But when you talk about the broader market in the move that we've had in the SPX above 5,000 here, new highs typically lead to newer highs. And that's why here, if we do get a pullback, I think what they've done, what they've accomplished and announced within this earnings report is going to keep this market out above you know, the $70 and $80 mark. I would love to buy it again and add to this position if for some reason it did go to $80 and $90. I think we'll see it build a nice base out. But the thing is, it may not go down there. And the way I look at this extrapolating in years to come, we're in the early innings of AI. I, at some points, have thought that we were maybe in the middle innings. No, I, I really think we are in the closer, the, the early first half of, of AI and monetizing it. What we're seeing here from the hyperscalers, from Apple now, what we're seeing from mm -hmm. Meta, of course, Alphabet and Microsoft, they're going to be putting right. more money in, into this and pumping well, into I, it. I got you. I mean, one, one of the obvious concerns is that some of these stocks have, have gotten nine innings worth of gains in the first inning. So that's something to keep an eye on. I appreciate you joining us. Bill Baruch, thank you. Up next, Mike Santoli is here with his Midday Word.